Java FX will be removed from JDK 11. But why? And what will happen to those people who are working on Java FX? And how will you create those amazing UI in Java? So let's find out in this video. Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's get started. Oracle has released a white paper mentioning that they will be removing Java FX from JDK 11. But what is Java FX? Now Java FX was released by Sun Microsystem in 2007 and in 2011 they made it open source so that other people can contribute. And again in 2010 Oracle bought Sun Microsystem so Oracle was responsible to manage Java FX with the entire Java ecosystem. JavaFX is something amazing first of all because there are so many developers who are using JavaFX to make amazing UI because when it was released it, it was giving competition to Adobe own technology and the technology from Microsoft which is Silverlight but the problem is you know it's not that efficient compared to HTML5 and other technologies available so the usage of JavaFX was going down and down and there was not of there, there was not a lot of uh, you know uh, updates coming for JavaFX in fact, uh, when so Applets was there and Swing replaced Applets because Swing was lightweight and JavaFX was much better than this, but still we have other technologies to compete with, right? And that's why Oracle thought, you know, just to keep your Java JDK update stable because if you know from Java 9, they will be updating Java, they will be updating JDK in every, I mean, to, twice a year. That means you'll be getting a frequent updates for Java and they don't have much updates available for JavaFX. And thanks to this uh, Java, Java platform modular system, which, is, which, is, which was introduced in Java 9, also called as Project Jigsaw, now we can separate the modules, right? So it makes much more sense to separate out JavaFX. Now, if you don't have JavaFX on JDK, how will you use it? Since we can create modules, you can separately download and use JavaFX. So if you, let's say if you are a JavaFX developer, and if you still want to use it, don't worry. Uh, we can still use it because we have a separate module as JavaFX. So you can download it and you can make it work. Now the advantage would be it will be lightweight because you only have JavaFX. And second, the community which is working for JavaFX, they we have Oracle and Open Java JFX, they will be contributing in their own pace. You know, they don't have to compete with JDK pace. So it is a win-win situation for Oracle plus for JavaFX because JavaFX will have its own pace of updation and Oracle can focus more on JDK, which is widely used platform. Right. So yes, it's a good news because you you are making things lighter, and finally we are implementing Jigsaw, which is creating modules. And bad news just because you you just have to do some extra stuff. But that's okay, okay. You know because there are not a lot of developers who are working on JavaFX. So people who are working on JavaFX they can download it and they can use it. So yes, that was an update on JavaFX. Don't worry, JavaFX is still there. It's just that it will not be a part of JDK. Now, people who are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe so that you will get future updates. And do like it if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone.